presses. I just seen this right off the Bravo website. I'm going to leave a link below to the actual article. Simone and Cecil Whitmore are getting a divorce. So, Dr. Simone revealed during the taping of the reunion show that she done foul. She foul for divorce, y'all. Church fans, somebody, I need a glass of wine. Somebody, bring me wine, please. Somebody, I need, I need a drink. So, let me tell you what happened here. It said uh, uh, that everything started going downhill when they dropped their 19 year off at college. They dropped them off at college. They had a disagreement. The disagreement led to them, you know, the, the big blow up. They tried to talk through it, work it out. Well, the not too shortly thereafter, he woke up, she said, and blew up on her. She knew right then she wasn't about to be in a marriage where she was unhappy because she didn't feel loved and, and was and wasn't no efforts being made for her to try to feel loved. So she went and filed for divorce. October 2017, honey, Dr. Simone said she filed for no for a divorce. She said, This ain't no games, this ain't no joke, she not playing. She not to be waking up, finna be waking up in no unhappy situation. Y'all, I'm going to tell you, I feel some kind of way. First, it was Gina Neely. Now, it's Dr. Simone and Cecil. I don't even know. I It, it got me shook because I've been married 23 years. I don't want to make wake up in this state. I want to make sure I stay happy. And I, you know, and I hate after they dropped Miles off at college that everything fell apart. But she, that's what she said out of her own mouth. She woke up that Saturday morning. And it just blew up. I'm just in shock, y'all. Can y'all believe this? And let let's let's. She said they had a blow up. She knew that day her marriage was over. And I'm quoting this from the Bravo website. I'm gonna leave the link below. You don't believe me? You can go down there and read it for yourself. She plans to have the papers. Paperwork finalized. Soon as she get back to Atlanta, she said there's not even it. Uh, no if here, and this is no game. She ain't about to be pretending. She done with it. She finished. She ain't gonna be sitting around playing about it. Y'all can run on fake TV, and y'all be on these reality TV shows being fake about y'all relationship, but baby, not not Dr. Simone. She's not about to play with it. She's not about to play about it. But I'm going to tell you this. Ever since Kirk and Rashida done got separated, I done, I done told you, if I'm a married couple, ain't no way I'm doing reality TV because all they care about is their ratings. <coughs> and it's something about reality TV to me that taints your relationship. And it go down the drain. We got the Neelys down the drain. Kirk and Rashida down the drain. A lot of other, other uh, Jersey housewives down the drain. Y'all better keep your marriage off TV. Because whatever's going on with them cameras is the, the devil. Y'all better get thee behind me, Satan. I'm trying to tell y'all. Anyway, she going to say, she said she can't speak for all the other ladies. About their relation, relationships So. Uh, what's going on with them but this is her story that's what's going on with her y'all they getting divorced i'm shocked i did not want them to get divorced because the show is is edited and i feel like it must have been more going on than they showed us or something, because to me on the show it wasn't that much going on that they couldn't have worked it out. So when you when a woman's fed up, it ain't nothing you can do about it, honey. Cecil sitting over there uh, drinking uh, some wine, listening to R. Kelly, cause she got fed up, and she told People Magazine that. They let life take over after filming with their busy schedules as parents to their sons, Mal and Michael, who is 15, 
And she said the problem is we should have continued canceling and we didn't. She said they should have continued and they didn't. Y'all see that? Come on, camera. I'm trying to let y'all see the G see the T. That ain't the T. Anyway, that's what she said out of that known mouth. Uh, she said they'll be the it says they'll be the first couple on married to medicine to a to officially be divorced. So now we got to see if Dr. Jackie and and um, Curtis get divorced because y'all know at three days after she found out that he cheated, she did file papers, but they trying to work it out. So technically, as of right now, they still legally married. As for them, we'll have to wait for the reunion show to find out what happens with that. But I'm just blown away about this. And she says in her article, she knows they look like a fun couple. And they do. And I just thought the kid um, forest event was nice. And I just felt like maybe they was going in a, in a positive direction. And I'm just still, I'm y'all can't say nothing other than I'm shocked. But I, I still pray that something happens, you know, that. They can work it out, but she says she's ready to embrace her new beginning and her new chapter in her life and see what uh what it brings. And she's looking forward to it. Dr. Simone about to be wild and fancy free. And I, I'm gonna tell you, I just don't feel good about this because I feel like that she gonna encourage Dr. Jackie to go on and get divorced. And I, I, I ain't gonna say that, maybe she won't. Because I don't want her to be like that. Be like, girl, I did it. Let's just go on and do it. Girl, screw. You know, I don't. I hope she don't be that friend. I hope that Jackie and Dr. Jackie and her husband, Curtis, can work it out and not end like this. At least she didn't finalize the papers without trying. Um, I don't know how bad things are behind closed doors at Simone's house, but after 21 years, I'm going to give it everything I got. Like I said, I've been with my husband 24 years and I'm not going up and end it. I have to give it everything I got first. I'm blessed. I got a good husband. If I say I'm not feeling love, he do everything he can to make sure I do feel love. Maybe he need to write a book and tell these men, men what to do because they not doing something. I don't know. But let's say a prayer for the Whitmores and hope they can work it out, especially for their kids' sake, because it's going to affect them more than it affects anybody, especially the 15-year-old that's still at home. But they was already living separately anyway, so I mean, ain't much going to change other than he'll be going over to his mama's house, same as he doing now, you know. Except it to be put on paper. So, but you know, as a kid, you don't want to see your parents separate. So let's keep them in our prayers, y'all. I thank y'all for watching.